Hélène Langrunier, a teacher in a Washington, D.C. high school, is one of the thousands of French nationals blocked because of COVID restrictions. Without a visa, I won't be able to return to the U.S. I can travel to France, but I won't be able to come back to America, and that is where I live, work, and pay my taxes. It's important that I come back. U.S. authorities have limited traveling from areas which have been badly hit by COVID and where many have yet to be vaccinated. Europe is on that list. I want to return home and see my mother, who was almost 80, my brothers and my son. He's 19, but he's had to make it on his own for a year. I have friends who travel without restrictions, though. They say I'm traveling to France for two weeks and bringing back my children. So I feel there is total injustice. Indeed, some people are allowed to travel, diplomats and also business people and journalists. Teachers and many other professions are not on that list. In March 2020, those sanitary restrictions made perfect sense. But since then, things have changed. Traveling is safer thanks to social distancing and masks. On top of that, the vaccination campaign on both sides of the Atlantic is processing smoothly. Elected officials are campaigning to put an end to travel bans, which many say have lasted too long and are no longer efficient.